Hi, this is Rachel Rehart from Pure Photoshop Actions and I am just going to do a really quick tutorial on uh, color correcting using curves and dodging and burning. Um, I'm always a little bit, I feel bad, I'm the one who doesn't do as many uh, tutorials because I'm usually waiting for my kids to like go to bed or <laughs> something. I have five noisy kids. So anyway, I have a second so I'm going to uh, do a tutorial here really quick. Some of you may have seen some of this uh, before in our first original tutorial series, but I thought I would redo this one because I think it really uh, is a good quick way to get uh, images to where uh, they're just pretty clean and it's really, for the most part, what you shot, just giving it a new look. Um, okay, so this image, the bride was um, is towards the end of the shoot. Um, it was getting darker, the ISO was getting higher, um, and, you know, her makeup was fading a little. Um, so, you know, you could look at this and say maybe this is one to toss into the scrap pile. Um, but I really kind of thought there was something compelling about the light in her hair and her pose. Um, so I wanted to see what we could do to save it. I have a little bit of ADD with Photoshop, and if it takes me more than a few minutes, then I'm, you know, prone to say, eh. Never mind. Uh, but I think we can save this one pretty quick, get it to a good place. Um, just using a couple tools, really. Um, so first I'm going to crop it because like, I don't love this up here and I just think we can get a better composition. Oops. Sorry. So we're going to straighten it a little. Um, going to just kind of get this nice and straight and yeah, like she's a little more in that she's got a nice line here, you see that diagonal that we've got going with her body. And I, I like that, I think that that's more compelling. Oops, but I missed the bottom here. Oops, but thankfully it didn't take. Okay, so there we go. Um, so it's straighter, I think that's a more compelling composition. Um, the other thing, so I want to start here and say, oh you know what, let's do a little bit of adjusting. Here's curves. I'm going to click this right here. It's called the Targeted Adjustment Tool. It's really, really great. I think it was introduced in CS4. This is so great. So we're going to say, you know what, this image is a little green. Do you see down here that green? Because see all this grass? Uh, the, all the lawn, like of this abandoned house, all the way back, everywhere. It was just literally like this high. And so all of that color from the grass is reflecting up onto her and kind of giving her this greenish tone. I mean, we could probably edit the picture with it, but, you know, it would just bring out that green tone. So let's just fix it now. Um, I'm a big fan of getting the image clean and to a good place before we start doing other corrections because if, if it's got issues like this, this green cast, it's just going to get worse and worse. So what we're going to do is we click on where this is. See, so I'm saying right here and see how it's selecting where it is up here. Watch up there. I say, yeah, I want to fix here, and it's going to select it right there. I'm going to click my mouse, hold it, and drag it down because I'm dragging out some of the green, and I'm basically putting in some magenta. So I'm dragging that curve down a little to where I feel like, okay, that's nice. It's it's a nicer, more neutral color, not so green. Her face has more skin tone as opposed to green. So before, a little more greenish in the shadows. After, it's nice and neutral. I really like that. Okay, so we're going to say that's good. Um, but, you know, it's still kind of blah, boring, you know, we don't love it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take my two of my favorite actions. Here's Turn Out the Lights Baby and Sunshine Baby. I kind of like to run them together sometimes so you can see what you're doing. It's kind of a give and take. Um, okay, I'm going to click B for my brush tool. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. See how I have a low opacity? The brush has zero hardness. No hardness at all. It's a very soft brush. Um, so I'm just going to draw like paint it a little light maybe paint some into her hair some of these areas that are kind of you know were a little bit darker I'm just gonna paint those in I don't need a ton uh, okay now I'm gonna come down to the lights out which is more like burning the other one was dodging this is some burning again I've got the softer brush I might bring it up a little here and I'm gonna just kinda bring down these areas and draw the eye into her so that we're not looking so much at the whole rest of everything because it's a kind of monotone picture if you think about it all these whites and creams and ecrus lots of the similar colors so we're gonna bring this down just like this and already we've got you know look at that we're going from you know the eyes a little wandering to here it's much more she's the focus the hair light is really making it all about her um, okay, I'm going to change my opacity again, you know, maybe 9%. And we're going to come in. This is, I think this is really, really fun. We're going to come in. We're going to say, you know what? 
like her makeup was kind of getting a little you know just kind of fades as time goes by and it was a hot day so we're just gonna kind of give it a little bit of pop we're gonna pop her makeup again we're gonna richen those colors uh, you know and we're just gonna come along here this one oops you know I probably should have let's go back to the background layer usually I would do this on a duplicate layer but we're hurrying so uh, we're just gonna clean these up just to give us a quick like a nice clean palette um, anyway uh, so here we are we're back to lights out sorry uh, we're gonna bring our soft brush back up again oops oh I have that there sorry Okay, so we're gonna, and I'm using the bracket keys. Uh, the one on the right, uh, make, or the one on the left makes it smaller. The one on the right makes it bigger. So we're gonna say here, we're just gonna kind of gently brush her makeup back on. And you know, you want to go kind of slow when you're messing with the makeup. But see, we're also gonna take some of these areas here, like see along these shadows here where she's so skinny. We're gonna just en enhance that, kind of give her a real model look you know some of these shadows we're just gonna deepen also her dress you know I can come along here and this dress was like a an ecru color it wasn't a true white so we can kind of bring out some of these details and so there you go like it gives it a little more pop and punch to the picture <coughs> so here we have you know before we did this before we did this <coughs> pardon me goodness um okay so we added a little light run on the light to her face and then we brought in all this kind of drama and I think that that really just right there does a lot for the picture um you know and if we want to come back we can do things like we can do soft and sparkly baby kind of smooth the skin and you know do things like that um you know we can add a haze action we can add some color pop but this really just gets it to a really nice place we've taken out those greens by using our curves uh, sorry that's this curve but we've used our curves actions to pull out the greens using our targeted adjustment tool so those are all kind of really fun ways to go about um, you know doing some very simple color correction and so now when we pop colors it's gonna look really really good um, we're gonna be happy with with the colors that we get we're not gonna be popping weird random colors um, okay here is another image that we have see it's a little underexposed here but the sun was coming this direction we wanted to keep this from getting really blown out and awful we wanted to keep some texture um, but you know it's kinda of blue it's kinda of underexposed they're just it's just not that compelling so first I think the first thing that we can do to kind of give this image a little more pop is we can do brighten that baby up so we're just gonna look I mean right there she looks much less blue she still is a little blue but to be careful here we go so I again clicked B and then I typed in X because I want to have a black brush a soft black brush and while I'm wanting to lighten everything up I want to kind of make sure that I'm protecting this area on her dress um, I want to brighten things up but I don't want this to go into um, an area where it's going to be blown out I want to you know we want to keep those details like there's not a lot but we want it to not feel like it's just a big white blob so we brighten that I'm just gonna close that for a minute so you can see each layer and not get confused some people like to leave more layers open um, that is just fine but we've got this blue what are we gonna do with the blue I think again what we can do we'll go into curves so here's the long way we're gonna say okay she's got a little bit of too much cyan see her arm it looks cold and blue we're not loving that so we're gonna come into her face and see just a little hint we're gonna be adding some red that'll take out the cyan so up is red down is cyan so if we're going up we're adding some red taking out some cyan and this is nice because when you're doing these it's different than using hue saturation when you're trying to like desaturate a color like cyan if you're just taking that cyan out it's leaving it kind of gray and you can get that dead fish look which we nobody wants to look like that so okay we're gonna say oh she's a little blue but we don't want to add blue we want to pull it out so that's gonna add some yellow so we're gonna bring a little yellow into the scene and look see her skin is pretty it's pretty nice there we're kinda losing those bluish tones and we've got much more comfortable skin tone here before it was kinda this after it's like this but 
you know what I think is great? So we have this curves layer. Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll just turn that off. Watch what we can do. <laughs> this is like the best thing ever. We'll warm that baby up. Look! Oh, it did it for us in one click. I love that. Okay, so you can do either of those. And uh, so if you think they're a little cool, that's a great way to do it. Um, I think we're going to work on a green, an action to pull out some greens next because, hey, that is always a good thing. So, okay, we're happy with that. Now, let's see. Again, we're going to do uh, turn out the lights, baby, and some sunshine, baby. Um, so, again, we can just bring, oops, let's change our color back. So, we X again. So, we have a white brush now. We're just going to bring a little light onto her face. Uh, just kind of make that the center focus. Uh, you know, we can even come here and kind of bring down the extra exposure here. Not a lot, but just, you know, again, kind of reminds us that there is texture back here. It's not a white blob. But watch what we can do. We can say, you know what, okay, now we're going to kind of bring down these edges because they kind of, you know, are in the way. And we want it to be all about the bride because this is her day. And you know she's the focus plus if you notice look watch as I'm doing this you know it's again a very light opacity but as I'm doing this clicking and dragging or clicking and painting do you notice how it kind of deepens the saturations all along here this tree has become much more green it kind of brings out the reds and those those reds and pinks up there so it, it kind of gives you a little color pop without even having to do much so there we're just kind of saying oh we're going to direct the eye and if we say oh we went a little too far it looks too vignette-y um, you know like you can lower and raise and lower the opacity and decide where the point is that you like it um, you know and from here again we can soft and sparkly baby it we could pop these colors it would be kind of pretty with the haze because we've got these pinks um, so we could pick a nice haze action so there's a lot of fun things you know we could do here let's just quickly show this I know that Crystal has showed this one before but uh, let me see. Maybe, see, I move my things all around while I'm doing, um, s while I'm doing things. Um, okay, maybe I don't have it right close. Um, it's probably towards the bottom, I bet. Um, because I've been working on all these elements ones. And there we go. Okay, tilt simulation. <laughs> so let's just do this really quick. And how do we make tilt simulation work? This would be a great one to use tilt simulation on. See, it looks like nothing happened except for a little sharpening. See, it looks like we've got some sharpening here. Um, okay, so what we've got in here is we just have this black mask. So it looks like nothing has gone on. And everybody's going, what the heck? So what we're going to do is we're going to select our gradient tool. We're going to come over here. See this fourth one? See how it kind of has, there's the white in the middle and it kind of spreads out on the sides that's the one we want to use for the gradient tool see I want it to start about here like I want this to be the most in focus is her face I want it to be like we focused on her so I'm gonna click the gradient tool I'm gonna hold the shift key down I'm gonna drag it to the edge whoops what did I do there oh it's on the black mask okay sorry let's see I need to do I I'm sorry you need to make sure that the default is set so X so that it's black sorry that was my bad I'd switched it so again okay <clears throat> there we go yeah I totally planned that that was a learning experience there we go so see it painted it so she's got the white here and or it's got the black here and it's showing the white on the edges this is where we're showing the blur and it kinda looks like we've used that tilt shift lens where we have just a very small area of focus and that graduated unfocused area that a tilt shift lens has. So there's lots of stuff we can do after we've kind of gotten our image to a nice clean place with white balance and exposure. Um, we can just go crazy with these fun artistic actions. But anyway, that's just kind of a quick tutorial to let you know what is kind of available and how to use those curves. Um, you know, I think that the that the warm that baby up uh, or warm up that baby is a great way to uh, give, give a shortcut but if you've got things like green or magenta going on they can be kind of hard to deal with um, so curves is a very strong way to use it I would recommend it definitely over hue and saturation um, just because it's going to add a complementary color to kind of balance out rather than taking the color out and leaving that yucky gray tone so anyway those are some of my uh, my thoughts obviously uh, you can come up with all sorts of things on your own and uh, I'm sure that 
they'll be great. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. Uh, this is Rachel for Pure Photoshop Actions.